Hi, I'm Nathan, and today I'd like to show you how to flatten annotations in Drupal PDF. Sometimes when you send a document to someone, you'd like to prevent them from making any changes to the annotations that you've already made. And that's where flatten annotations comes in handy. You can flatten annotations on two levels, on an individual level or on a document level. We're going to start with the individual annotation level. So if I zoom in here, I'm going to use my lasso select tool and select these annotations at the top. You'll see that a menu has popped up at the bottom of the screen and it says 42 annotations have been selected. Now on the right hand side, you can see it says flatten. I'm going to click that and it's going to warn me, do I actually want to flatten these annotations? It's important that you know that you want to because you can't undo this action later. So I'm going to click yes. And if I then try to lasso select those same annotations again, you can see that it won't work because they're flattened into the PDF. Now, the second way that you can flatten annotations is on the document level. So let's go to the More tab, click Annotations, and then Flatten Annotations. And of course, this will give me another prompt saying, are you sure? You've got to be sure because if you click yes and you weren't sure, you can't undo it later. So let's click yes, and if I go to any other annotation in this document, you can see that I cannot select them. And that's it. If you'd like any more help, please go to the Drupal website.